In this video, we are going to see Trend Control Systems IO Bus Interface Connectors Complete Technical Details Part 1. Welcome to Control and Systems YouTube channel. Trend System offers a variety of IO Bus connectors they are, 1, Excite IC, Short Rigid Interconnector or Jumper Module, 2, IQ4 IC ADPT, Fit Interconnecting Cables Adapters, 3. IQ4 IC Link, Fit Rigid Interconnector, 4. IQ4 Terminator, 5. X Site Term, IQ3 Zite Terminator, 6. X Site CC, Plug in Screw Terminals, IQ3 Zite Controller to X Site IO Module, up to 30 modules can be connected to the IO bus, depending on the configuration of controller and modules. Required IO buses, Excite IC5, Excite Term 5, the IQ3 Excite has a hinged plastic cover on it right hand side, IQ3 Excite controller pins, pin 1 is 24 volt DC, color is red, pin 2 is high data, color is white, pin 3 is ground, color is green, pin 4 is low data, color is blue, pin 5 is 0 volt DC. Color is black. The rigid bus interconnector connects the pins one to one with crossover, for example pin 1 to pin 5. That the rigid bus connector includes a ground connection. The Excite IO modules have hinged plastic covers on each side. Excite IO module pins. Pin 5 is 24 volt DC. Color is red. Pin 4 is high data. Color is white. Pin 3 is ground. Color is green. Pin 2 is low data. Color is blue. Pin 1 is 0 volt DC. Color is black. Bus connection. The connectors are physically polarized so the IQ3 X site and IO module right hand side connectors have the same polarization with the terminals numbered 1 to 5. Color coded is red, white, green, blue, black respectively. The left hand side connector on the IO module is fitted round the other way so it is numbered 5 to 1, color coded is, red, white, green, blue, black. The interconnection rule is to connect red to red, white to white, green to green, blue to blue and black to black. Insert the short rigid interconnector or jumper module in between the IQ3 controller and the IQ3 IO module. Now switch on the IQ3 X site controller power supply. A 24 volt DC supply is flowing between pin 1 and pin 5. Also 24 volt DC supply is flowing between pin 1 and pin 3. End connector. The bus should be terminated at the furthest end from the controller if no IO modules are used. The terminator must be fitted inside the IQ3 X site controller. The bus is terminated by fitting a 122 ohm resistor between data high and data low terminals. For modules further apart within the metal enclosure, plug in screw terminals enabling the modules to be wired together. IQ3 X site controller to IQ4 IO module. This method is to connect the IQ3 X site controller and the IQ4 IO module. Required IO buses, IQ4 IC ADPT, interconnecting cables adapters, X site CC, plug in screw terminals and IQ4 terminator. Bus connection, IQ4 interconnecting cables adapters are inserted into the IQ4 IO module. A screw terminal plug in is inserted into the IQ3 X site controller. Now connect the IC3 X site controller pins in the IC4 IO module pins. Wire connection, IQ4 IO module connector connection is, connect wire number 1 to the 24 volt DC terminal, connect wire number 2 to the high data terminal, connect wire number 3 to the ground terminal, connect wire number 4 to the low data terminal and finally connect wire number 5 to the 0 volt terminal. Now connect the wires from the IC4 IO module to the IC3 X side controller. Wire number 1 is 24 volt DC supply that is connected to the first pin of the IQ3 X side controller. Wire number 2 is a high data that is connected to the second pin. 
Wire number 3 is a ground that is connected to the third pin. Wire number 4 is a low data that is connected to the fourth pin. Wire number 5 is a 0 volt DC supply that is connected to the fifth pin of the IQ3X side controller. Now switch on the IQ3 side controller power supply. This is the I.O. bus connection diagram of the IQ3X site controller to the IQ4 I.O. module, IQ3X site controller to X site I.O. module and IQ4 I.O. module. This method is to interface the X site I.O. module, followed by the IQ4 I.O. module, to the IQ3X site controller. Required I.O. buses, X site IC, IQ4 IC ADPT. X site CC, bus connection. First connect the IC3 X site controller and X site IO module using short rigid interconnector or jumper module. Second connect plug in screw terminal to IC3 X site IO module. Third connect fit interconnecting cables adapter to IC4 IO module. Wire connection. IQ4 IO module connector connection is. Connect wire number 1 to the 24 volt DC terminal, connect wire number 2 to the high data terminal, connect wire number 3 to the ground terminal, connect wire number 4 to the low data terminal and finally connect wire number 5 to the 0 volt terminal. Now connect the wires from the IQ4 IO module to the IQ3 X site IO module. Wire number 1 is 24 volt DC supply that is connected to the first pin of the IQ3 X site IO module. Wire number 2 is a high data that is connected to the second pin. Wire number 3 is a ground that is connected to the third pin. Wire number 4 is a low data that is connected to the fourth pin. Wire number 5 is a 0 volt DC supply that is connected to the fifth pin of the IQ3 X site IO module. Now switch on the IQ3X site controller power supply. Separate power supply. The IQ3X site can supply 24 volt DC to the I.O. modules through the I.O. bus 24 volt DC terminal. In these two cases, an external 24 volt DC supply must be used for I.O. modules. First there are more than 6 I.O. modules. Second the main controller combined supply would be overloaded. Interconnecting cable, belt and 3084A cable should be used, the ground connector should be earthed locally, and the cable screen should be grounded at the controller end. That the cable core colors shown are for the recommended cable, belt and 3084A. This type of cable, type A, connects right hand side of one module to left hand side of another. Interconnecting cable type B must be used if the connection is between the same side of each controller, that is left to left or right to right, due to the polarization of the connectors. No spurs are allowed, for example, in the multi-section panel below, the DIN rail sections are connected in series to form one single length of bus with termination at the farthest end from the controller. The IC4E controller and IC4IO module interface connection are shown in part 2 of the video. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our videos. Keep supporting our YouTube channel and have a great day.